Hello, enough with the tilting. Hello, kings, queens, and royals in between. My name is Joe, and this is my channel. In today's video, I will be continuing the What If I Skipped Blank makeup series. In this video, I will be skipping the priming step. I do not think much will be different with my makeup compared to other looks because, it, it, you know, I mean, I mean, it's possible because science, hypothesis, etc. So also it's hot in here, so I may be fanning myself with a piece of cardboard the whole time. It is so hot in here, but I can't have a fan on because that disrupts the audio and it bothers me. And even though I don't have any people watching my videos right now, I assume that it's gonna bother any future viewers. <laughs> Nothing is funny. What's funny? Hair in the up. Hair in the up, please. Up, uppy. Oh, hair fell out. Ow, ow, ow. It's like getting tangled over my thumb and it's like being yanked. I don't, also it's not even being yanked that hard. I just have a really sensitive scalp because of my skin condition, you know. Ow, why? For primer, on For foundation, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Matte and Poreless in the shade 112 Porcelain Ivory. This is not the video in which I show you the product, so I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> What's funny? Nothing is funny! I found with myself. Oh. I think there's... And this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. Laugh! It's funny! It's so fun to laugh. It's one of my favorite... I've been such a webtoon girly lately. A lot of stories are on webtoon and I like them and I, re and I read them. One of them makes me cry. And it's not even that sad. I just have mommy issues. Who, do who doesn't? <laughs> yeah. Yesterday I was hanging out with my friend um, and we went to Target or as the uh, the white moms love to say, Target, and like in the little in the little in the little Starbucks section, there was a kid throwing a fit, like crying and throwing. There was like a cup of ice water, just like the kid had, and uh, the kid threw it on the floor, in the Starbucks section, and it went everywhere, and the parents were angry, I guess rightfully so, but like. The mommy issues and authoritative problems person in me, like I hate authority most of the time because of my trauma. Uh, part of me was just thinking like, that kid's, that kid's not in the wrong. P punish yourself for being a bad parent. <laughs> and that mom told my friend happy birthday. Was it my friend's birthday? Not really. There may or may not have been a sash purchase from Claire's that said, it's my birthday that my friend wore to Target. And only like three people told my friend happy birthday. That is so sad. What if it was my friend's birthday? Y'all are so rude. I think there's still a little bit of soap in this brush. I can hear the f foamy bubbles and it's like kind of making me sick. You ever just blend? I forgot to give you a close-up of what my skin looks like. It looks the same as it usually does. Shaven and moisturized with my many moisturizer concoctions that I do kind of regret making. Okay, now, now, I will let you, I will allow you, I give you consent. Oops. You can still kind of see my, like, pinky eczema spots in some places, like right there. And like right there. Mm -hmm. That's okay. It's a part of life. They don't make me insecure like they used to. So, this is what my skin looks like up close. Maybe it will change. Because I didn't prime with the setting spray water. Science. It's only fascinating when it comes to makeup. <laughs> now for prime. Concealer. Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer with a Satin Finish in the shade Fair Warm.
You see it? I'm gonna put a little bit on the. Does it burn? Don't worry about it. Very high lit face today. I put a lot of concealer on. Oopsie poops. No, you just gotta roll with it. You just. You just, um. This is baby powder. Now I'm just gonna set my face. Sometimes I think I need to apply more than other times. Wow. It's gonna fall because it's very shaky and like falling apart at the seams and the, co the cords are exposed. I gotta sneeze. Now I'm gonna spray the face. This. I'm using it as setting spray now. It's not a primer at this point in time. NYX Professional Makeup Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray, Vaporicitio de Finition. I think that's Spanish. Breathe some life back into this <laughs> face. Sometimes instead of words, I like to make sound. I really like these. I say that every video, I think. These are really good. She's really good. Is that paint? Who put paint on my cardboard, you guys? I forgot to do the up close skin. I'm so bad at this. This is only the second ever episode, so it's fine. I'm just living my dream. I'm now, you can see more of my texture because I have texture on my... Skin flow. Now, I'm going to go in my T-zone with the Smine White Eyeshadow. Now, spray my face a little bit more so I can put on some highlighter. I love monsters. Monsters are so cool. And sometimes, attractive. I don't know what it means. Wet n' Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and Blossom Glow. I forgot to do the skin thing again. I'm a cool mom. I'm a cool mom. Oh, uh-oh. What is this? Have you guys ever wet and wild color icon bronzer in the shade Reserve Your Cabana? Bronzer is something that you put on the perimeters of your face like contour, but it's supposed to be like really warm and beachy. It can be glowy sometimes, but you don't want, well, I specifically don't want a bronzer that's too glowy. So like, with that being said, your bronzer should be a little darker than you, a little bit, unless you wanna be like super tan and dark, which in some instances can be weirdo behavior, not even the good kind. So this is like, who, like what really pale person is using this on the perimeters of their face, you know? That's why I keep calling it a bronzer with air quotes. Fun fact of the day. Grabbing an uh, eyeshadow from the palette of the person that shall not be named. It all works out in the end. Sometimes. Ow. I'm dying. Spraying my face one last time for funsies. Do I use a lot of this, too much of this in my makeup um, stylings? Probably, but it's okay, because when I run low on it, I just fill it up with water. I don't like the summer. LA Colors, um, I Heart Makeup Contour Palette that I mix with some of the shades from the I Heart Blush Palette. This is my most, like, used, like, mid-tone brown shade that I use, usually use for my contour. But what I have in mind for this look that, you know, I just decided is going to be very warm, I'm going to use this different shade right here, which is, like, um, which is w w warmer, more orangey, I think. I like having a lot of different um, shades of things in my arsenal. That way, if I ever decide that I want to do something more warm or more cool or more neutral, 
or more pink or purple or like etc i can do that i also like seeing it like seeing the options you know just having a lot of different shades of makeup is very satisfying to look at oh oh wow well. i think it's because my face is still a little bit wet That surprisingly worked really well. When in doubt, scrub it off out uh, in Wednesday. That's done. Now for blush. I'm going to use this orange one in the middle from the palette of the shape of person that shall not be named. Um, if you know, you know. And if you don't, don't ask. And maybe also a little bit of this darker, darker, darker orange that's like kind of a brown. I'm saying kind of, but it is a brown. Proof that I can do a little bit of blush sometimes. It doesn't have to be too much all the time. I just like that to do that. To do that. I need more on this nose. That that might been that might have been a little too much, but it's fine. Cause say it with me. At the end of the day, I forgot to do the skin thing. Muppet. You guys like Muppets? You guys, you guys like those? Taking that um, eyeshadow again. What's going on? My nose. My little boop boops. And my little boop. It is a little. Uh, it is a little yellow. So I'm gonna go over that with a little bit of the mega glow, just to make it all look the same as these. This. What the, the, uh, did she drop a vase on her at the end? Um, the extra, the extra, little, little, little divot in my cheek, the extra, my brow hair, that's what it looks like. Do you like my forehead? Like, comment, and subscribe if you like my forehead. All right. All right, now I will do the eyebrows off camera and I will be right back. All right, the eyebrows are done and they are big and bold and beautiful. In the previous video, I drew on eyebrows with just eyeshadow and I wasn't really living, but I like these better. Um, I skipped using the pomade in the previous video, which is what I usually do, um, but I think, I think I'm gonna stick to using the pomade and eyeshadow. Now, for eyeshadow of the eyes. I don't know why I need to show you my eyelid to say eyeshadow. Enough. 3 in 1 face and eyeshadow palette by You Can Be. I really like this. $20 on Amazon by the way. I'm just gonna stick to the warming up section. It has lots of interesting colors that I never use because I always try to go neutral or cool tone or just plain colorful. So I'm thinking of maybe like a brass cut crease like a more brownie a warm brown shimmery thing. I'm gonna start with um, this warm brown. It's kind of a, it's like the mid middle between orange and brown, I think. Love me, hate me, say what you want about me. Other sign. I'm a very singy girly. That was underneath time. My nose highlight up close looks weird. Now I'm gonna go in with this brown right here. Color brown is so underrated. All right, now I'm gonna do, let's see. You know this gold right here, this well-loved gold that I've used before? I'm gonna use this brown right next to it. <sighs> Nothing's funny. Well placed, yeah. Nice, nice, and I think that's it. I think I'm done with that. Ah! Look how big. Big eyebrows. Big eyebrows. I used to play the game, and then I watched the movie. Now for some mascara. This is the LA Colors Perfect Lash Lengthening Mascara. There. Bottom first, because society. Um, I did get mascara under my eyelashes on the eyeshadow, so I think I'm just gonna roll with that. We're having fun. I just remember the point of this video and maybe I shouldn't distract you from the point of this video with mascara on my eyelashes, but 
Oh well. <gasps> That's so fun. I'm gonna use these. These from the Ioni 3D Faux Mink Lashes 100% Handmade in the shape, in the, in the style Wispy Full Dramatic. These have been cut um, so they can fit my half lash fantasy. They were a dollar at Dollar Tree. I'm sorry. Oh, I, put, I forgot to put mascara on the top. Put them on my eyelids, but I didn't put them on my top lashes. Now I really hope I don't put get mascara on my uh my eyeshadow. That would ruin it. When your mascara is a big goopy doopy, like you're just you're just like. What? I get Mondays. It. Get back in the pocket. I put the lash glue on the lash. You know what? I think I'm gonna be different today and not do lashes. I'm so sorry. The way you got me, I'm on my way to your dimension. Okay. This is the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick in the shade Cedar Later. See you later. It's from um, Wet n Wild. Looks like this. It looks like a liquid lipstick and maybe, I think it kind of is, but it's like, a lip gloss lipstick. I think it just... Oh no. The applicator came off of the stick. Now it's on the floor somewhere. I'm so scared. What in the wild is so hateful and hurtful for what? Why'd you do this to me? First, they don't know what a bronzer is. Now, they make lipsticks that fall apart. It still looks good though. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Because if I do something else, I might have mental breakdown. I am gonna brush my hair, and I'll be right back. Brush your hair. Ow. Ow. Ow, ow. Check your lipstick before you come for me. Ow. I wanted to do a thing, actually. I don't think I can. No. Oh, hi. I don't want to do orange jewelry, because this is not the monochromatic makeup series. I just accidentally did monochromatic makeup again, but it's fine. I'm just I'm just gonna do some pink, some pink, pink jewelry. These are some these are some acrylic nails that don't fit my thingies. Nah. Um, I'm gonna pink. Mirror myself. I'm also gonna glue this thing on my nose. I don't really know what it is, but I'm pretending it's a nose piercing. A lot of people say these look like tiny glasses, um, and that's really funny to me. Not the intention, but like they do look like tiny glasses. I can see now. Arts and crafts jam. In person, it does look like an arts and crafts jam, and it looks kind of cheap. But when it, when the light hits it, it's like this is a, a nice, expensive jam. Millions of dollars, in fact. The finished earring. You guys finish your earring? Yes! This is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed the process that it took to get here. Look at those gems. Jamming. The gems are jamming. Um, please, please consider interacting with this channel uh, if you want to. Um, if you don't, mm, it doesn't matter. All of my social medias will be in links form. There's a lot of glue on this. All my social medias are in the link in the description box of every single video on here. Just click on the title of the video and you will see all my uh, socials. And with that, I will see you in the next video in which I plan on doing an all yellow monochromatic makeup series look. Yellow, you guys like ye yellow. Bye, bye.